I don't think that we can ever have peace with my family unless the truth is out there. So Prince Harry is just whining Prince Harry. Book is coming out. He said they can't have peace until they has truth. Well, Prince Charles is not your father since you want the truth. Your father is not Prince Charles. Since we're talking about the truth, you look nothing like Prince Charles. Matter of fact, you look like nothing like nobody in that freaking family. Since he, since we're going to expose facts and truth, can we get the truth right there? Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, clown you. Quit whining. Sick of these grown men coming on here whining about something happened when you was a kid. Get over it, clown. You writing a book for You already made plenty of money, and you ain't even really part of the legend raw family. Go talk to your daddy, your real daddy. Hello, welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the doctor of common sense. I got a question. Not that I really care that much about what the alleged raw family is doing. I don't know why we call them royalty, actually, but uh, to each his own. What I'm concerned about is why is Prince Harry constantly whining this much? Would somebody tell Prince Charles to tell his stepson, because it's not his son, his stepson to stop whining, boy. You didn't got all the privileges that you need. He's writing a book and he's coming out being interviewed and they keep playing the victim. Do you know there's children all over the world and grown-ups all over the world who grew up and they were not the favorite in the household? You do know that, don't you? He wants to write about it. He said he's not texting his brother right now. I thought you, in your book, you're supposed to be a tough guy. You're supposed to have killed, what, 25 Taliban members? Hmm. Killed 25 Taliban members, and here you are whining about y y you were mistreated as a child. Get over it, damn it. How many How many of people do you know? Hell, I was mistreated as a child then. Unless you talk about you was mistreated as a child. You got all this money. You got the money because technically of who your stepdaddy is. Now, I know your mama married into the family, and they never liked her either. So you got to get over it. I just don't understand people being still being this upset. How is he, 38 now? It's time to get over it, son. Go talk to your real daddy then, the fellow with the red hair, because you don't look nothing like nobody in that damn family. It's obvious that you were, that, that uh, Prince Charles the alleged King Charles is not your father. He's telling you how much he's upset because Megan, eventually you and this girl are going to get a divorce. I can see it. I don't know how long it's going to be, but they're going to get a divorce. And then he be, he's going to be saying he wanted to get back close to his family because this is a fellow who needs acceptance. If you're over it and you got all, they didn't give you all this money. Why are you still whining so damn much? This victimhood. Everybody's a freaking victim. Anybody you name can talk about something happened bad in their childhood and they didn't get millions and millions of dollars. So I don't really care now. You say your family is, is, is mistreated you and they're not raw. I never had that much respect for the raw, the so-called raw family. And able one raw family, I know. I'm part of that raw family too. And our, our king is in heaven. But why is it that we keep talking about so-called Prince Harry? He's whining, his wife whining about the dresses. Don't invite him to your wedding then. He said he took security detail. Y'all can pay for it. Don't y'all live in like a $14 million house or something? Why you, why are you whining? I don't got no respect for a grown man whining this much. You didn't get all these millions of dollars. And now you, you, you're saying that. He was shouting at me. I was shouting back at him. It wasn't nice. It wasn't pleasant at all. And he snapped. And he pushed me to the floor. He knocked you over. He knocked me over. Um, I landed on the dog bowl. You cut your back. Yeah, I cut my back. I didn't know about it at the time. But um, yeah, he, he apologized afterwards. It was a pretty nasty experience. You call that a fight, sissy? He pushed you down? Who cares? What a whining little B-I-T-C, you know what? He's whining because his brother pushed him on the ground. I thought you was a badass. I thought you was in the military. You got pushed down and you crying about that in a damn book? That wasn't even a fight. I'll show you how brothers really fight. That ain't a fight. Clown, you quit your whining. Well, I'm hoping that we can uh, have a relationship in the future. Well, maybe not. You're going to go public and talk about it in the public. 
A lot of people have fallout with their family, but they don't go to the news station and talk about it and, and get a show talking about it constantly because your wife has your nose wide open. She's the one, his wife the one told him to do it. You weren't complaining about none of this stuff until you met this girl right here. You weren't complaining about a damn thing, son. Freaking cuckoo. Wasn't saying none of this until you met this girl. Now you whining and complaining because she stuck a crank, a crunk in your back and crank you up real good, wind you up. Now you out here whining. Well, there's a lot of people who got mistreated worse than you. They'll trade places with you. You got your feelings hurt. Mm. Tough guy who said he was in the military, supposedly killed 25 Taliban, whining about how he got treated as a child, but he got millions of dollars. Give your damn money up then. The only reason anybody know who y'all are is because you were born as the stepson to Prince Charles. So I don't really care what you whining about. Every he whining everybody. He got a book out. Don't give a, a trash book. I bet he didn't even write the book. And he's on TV whining. I don't care. I don't care nothing about the royal family anyway. And I damn sure don't care about no Prince Harry. Him and this girl just keep whining and stuff. When y'all get a divorce, watch. Watch what I tell you. I don't know how long it's going to take, but they're going to get a divorce. Because all they talk about, every time you talk about those two, they never add no substance. Every time they're talking about is how they got mistreated. Your, your wife ain't been in the family that long. Y'all talking about how y'all got mistreated. Y'all got rich because of you was the stepson of Prince Charles. Now you want to complain about it. Give the money back up then. Since you hate him so much, get the money back up. Because what have you ever accomplished? Nothing. What's your wife ever accomplished? Nothing. The only reason anybody talk about y'all it's because you was born Prince Charles's stepson. Prince Diana was your mama. I don't, don't make me get on your mama now. I'm going to leave that alone. But here you go. Come on TV whining again. Every show he's whining about something. The boy has a popularity rate in Britain of minus 38. Technically, that's what Joe Biden's approval rating is over here. But nobody will repeat re report that. So I don't really care about the royal family. I, I just never understood what the fascination of what, what, what the royal family was. I, I never got that. Because I, I, I don't believe in these idols they be putting on earth and they just be worshiping these damn people. What do they do? Nothing. Exactly. You got conservatives who tries to defend uh, Prince uh, Queen Elizabeth. You got uh, liberals who try to uh, defend uh, Prince Harry and his, his, his wife. His slave master. And and I, I'm not defending anyone because I don't care about neither side, neither one of them. Hell, are we so infatuated with the alleged raw family? Go find your real daddy, boy, with the red hair. Who in their family got red hair? Nobody. Arrest my case. There's a conspiracy. Ain't no conspiracy. You don't look nothing like you. You look just like the other man. There's, a, there's three or four guys with red hair. And I don't want to hear this about she didn't really know that guy. You don't know who she know because you don't know who she was sneaking around with. Hell is she talking about? She just not met him. That's what you say. Yeah, that's what you say. But I can guarantee you, I don't care about him and his his brother texting. He said one time they had a, a scuff in the mouth. He pushed him down. That's a fight? You got pushed down? What kind of what kind of sissy stuff is that? When me and my brother had a fight, we had a real fight. No, 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 no. You got pushed down. You got pushed down. What kind of stuff is that? You whining about getting pushed down? How I look coming on the air whining about when, when I was a child, me and my brother fought. Suck it up, buttercup. Quit acting like a girl. Quit letting your wife tell you what to say. You didn't say none of this until you got with her. Now you're acting like you, you, you're such a victim now, professional victim. You know, I got a problem with women being professional victims when they're not really a victim, but I damn sure got a problem with a grown man constantly whining. Every time you hear him talk, he's saying something about this. The, the, the only other times you hear him talk about anything is when he went over to, I think it was some kind of UN thing. He was talking about climate change. Listen, clown, stop flying around on private jets. Give up your houses and stuff. Don't lecture us on nothing. You have never accomplished anything, boy. Constantly whining about how he got mistreated. There's a whole bunch of people got mistreated, and they don't got millions of dollars. So nobody got no sympathy for you. I don't give a damn about that trash book. I use it to start... A born fire. That's what I think about the royal family. And what's the other one that, that got caught with Epstein? Where is he at now? Keep on coming out they royal. I mean, Prince Charles technically 
uh, while, when he married Prince Diana, he was still sleeping with this other wife now he got. He told me he don't like her. She got devilish way. She's dangerous if she's not happy. Dangerous? What What does she actually do, does? Y'all ain't even got no power. You realize y'all really not in charge of nothing, right? Why y'all get paid anyway? Why are they still paying the royal family? That's what I want to know. What do they do? Oh, they cut ribbons. Okay. Why are they making money off that then? They're like the Kardashians of Britain then. Okay then. I get it. 